So, we all know the importance of energy, and it's only become more apparent in the recent years. During COVID, our virtual needs became very much clearer, and with the current situation in Ukraine, we can really see the importance of no longer being dependable on fossil fuels. So, what I'm going to talk with you about today is about how blockchain may help improve this situation. So, my research takes place in the energy industry, specifically focusing on wind turbines. And in order for me to make sense that my contribution isn't only to academia, but also to practice, I actively go out and involve myself in the industry by conducting interviews, by making observations on the current processes, and by actively participating in workshops along with the people in the industry to create a solution. And the solution we're trying to make is one joint database for all the information there is about the wind turbines and the, co and the components inside them throughout the 25-year history that this turbine is running. And so, in comparison to today, uh, where we have a situation where this information is scattered across dozens of companies, if not hundreds, which of course makes it very difficult for people to know exactly what's going on, since it's so shattered all around. And so, for someone like this service technician, it becomes very important to know that this information is up to date. And since it isn't necessarily updated, correct or reliable as it is today, it may be that this service technician goes out to a turbine in order to try and fix something only to realize that they can't do their job because they simply didn't have the right information to go out there with. And so just to understand the importance of why uh, it would be better that they have this information. The magnitude of the problem is basically that you spend thousands of kroner, if not tens of thousands of kroner, on sending this service technician out to the turbine. And with 350,000 turbines in the world, it means that there's hundreds of millions of kroner to be saved each year by solving this problem. And so, creating this one joint database with all the information about the wind turbine in it or blockchain as it is, uh, I hope to help solve this problem. And the biggest issue in trying to solve this problem is in order to make the companies collaborate better. And luckily, the wind industry is well known for having great collaboration already, even working with their competitors, because they understand that their real competitor is the fossil fuels, and they want to basically take over from them. And so blockchain, in the end, is supposed to be able to help promote renewable energy, take out the fossil fuels and make us less dependable on them so that we can be in a better world for energy. Thank you for listening.